Hey guys, and welcome to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Sade, and I am one of the owners of Third Generation Conjure. So for today's video, I wanted to come on and just do some collective readings um, for the upcoming fall equinox that is happening on September the 23rd. Okay, so we're just going to see what the energy holds for this season. And for this video in particular, we are going to be... Um, pulling some cards for the sign of leo so make sure that you check your sun moon and rising sign because things may resonate a bit differently okay guys and we're just going to pull some cards and see um what the energy of this season holds okay all right leo so we are back with your reading so first we're going to start with the present so what is some energy going on in the present for those under this sign we get the two of wands the queen of pentacles and the pentagram so the two of wands deals with planning so a lot of those under this sign may be in a phase where they are planning for the future or there is a need to plan for the future okay with the two of wands this is looking out and looking um to new height new heights okay new perspectives also once again this is taking steps to plan all right we get the king the queen of pentacles as well so the queen of pentacles deals with um stability it deals with our foundation okay it deals with abundance and fertility so this is a period to really plan for things that have longevity okay long-term outlooks okay you see the queen of pentacles she's sitting here in her lush garden and she's holding this pinnacle you also see the white rabbit here which deals with um abundance and also fertility as well it also deals with wisdom and knowledge okay so this could be um some type of education or some type of knowledge uh, that you are grasping right now in order to help you to pave the future. But right now, it's all about planning for the future and also focusing on things that have longevity and things that are long term, you know, whether that's business aspects, whether that is relationships, uh, career aspects. Right now, it's all about long term, okay? We get the pentagram behind this as well. So the pentagram is all about creativity. It's a card of creativity and manifestation. But also this card is about balance, okay? So this is about balancing the physical and also your spiritual. So if you don't have this balance right now, Leo, this is a time for you to find this balance. With this equinox, the theme for equinoxes are balance, okay? So the equinoxes happen when uh, there's a same amount of day and night in a uh, day okay so the theme of it is balance and then it starts going into libra season as well which libra represents the scales libra represents balance so that is going to be a theme for this season okay uh leo also with the uh, pentagram once again this is about creativity and also um embracing that creativity in order for you to um get this longevity and this abundance okay your creativity is going to play a major part in the way that things manifest for you um in this season also with the pentagram this is about being aware of your resources okay you know you may be trying to do everything on your own be aware of the help that you have surrounding you and the resources that you have surrounding you and make sure that you are um capitalizing on any type of help and any type of resources that can help you uh, towards your goals, all right? So then next we get the focus. So what is a focus for those under the sign of Leo uh, within this season? We get the card of the sun, which is your element, Leo. We get the um, eighth am, and then we get the page of cups. So we're gonna start with this card. So with a focus, this deals with change and also transformation, okay? Also, this is about strength and conviction in your personal real power. This also tells you that you create your own destiny. So right now, it's going to be a focus for you, Leo, to really uh, think about what it is that you want in life. What goals do you want to accomplish? And really start to put in the work, put in the manifestation behind those goals. Because the pentagram also deals with manifestation. Also, there is going to be a need for uh, you to not play victim okay and not slip into this victim mentality but also kind of embracing your inner strength and will we get the sun behind this as the sun is all about success it's about prosperity it's about abundance okay so this is going to be a season for you to focus on that keep your thoughts and your energy aimed at uh prosperity abundance healing vitality okay and not sulking into that um depressive state okay you know i'm all about healing i'm all about shadow work but you also have to make sure that you're not dwelling in that 
energy for too long, okay? The purpose of doing inner healing and doing inner work, shadow work, and things of that nature is to address those issues, heal from them, and move on, okay? Making sure that you're not dwelling in that energy for too long. We also get the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is about expression, okay? Once again, this ties to, with the pentagram, creativity, okay? So there's going to be a focus on your creativity. There's going to be a focus on expressing yourself, okay? So uh, your self-expression will manifest things in your life. So whether that is um, your expression um, within, your, within a business aspect, okay? This could be... Um, you know, you expressing your feelings and this helping the next person. Okay. So this may be something to do with a business. This may be something to do with a relationship, really putting your feelings out there um, in order for them to be reciprocated. Also with the page of cups, this could deal with things that deal with um, artistic endeavors, you know, things like um, writing, art, uh, music, things of that nature. So this may be something that you step into um, within this season, okay, or something that you embrace. Even if you're not an artist yourself this may be some things that um you may appreciate okay so it may be a season where you're just writing even if it's not professionally it could be uh journaling and things of that nature so next um we pulled the challenges so what are some challenges to be aware of because just like we have advice and just like we have outcomes you know we need some we need to see what um things we may need to be aware of in order for us to kind of work through them and combat whatever we can any kind of negative things that arise okay so we get the eight of cups the knight of wands and the words of magus so we're going to start with the words of magus so the words of magus is about completion okay it's about accomplishment it's about mastery you see this as the uh, card of the teacher okay also with this card it tells you to know to dare to will and to keep silent so with this being a challenge this could be a challenge with um keeping things to yourself okay so whether this is your accomplishments or your goals um there is a need to really kind of move in silence in this season because just because you may be happy for other people that doesn't mean everyone else is happy for you okay so you know if you're planning on doing something um you know keep it off of social media okay you know because a lot of times we may speak of things that we want to do or ideas we have prematurely and it never comes into fruition because we have people who are evil eyeing us or throwing um, that negative and spiteful energy. So make sure that um, you are keeping silent. Everything, everyone doesn't have to know the moves that you're making, okay? So that's really about um, keeping your ego in check because really what makes us want to gloat and brag or whatever the case may be is really just ego. So this is a need to keep uh, your ego in check as well. Also, this card is the teacher's card. So this is about learning okay so this is a period for you to learn all right also um it could be teaching others things that you know so a lot of you within this um within this season um you know as a challenge this could be you trying to teach people things that you don't know yourself okay so make sure that these are lessons that you learn in order to help the next person all right, so then we also get the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, this is about action, okay? This is a card of action. This is a card of movement, okay? So if you got some things that you want to accomplish, there's going to be a need for you to get off your butt and get those things rolling, okay? Because as a challenge card, this can deal with, um, you know, inaction, not doing anything, okay? Not, um, not putting in the work to bring those manifestations and things that you want into fruition. Also with the Eight of Cups, this is the card of, I often see it as the goodbye card. So this could be a need to walk away from something and you refusing to do so. Okay, whether this is a toxic friendship, whether this is a toxic situation, um, a job, a career, a business, something that you need to walk away from that you are refusing to walk away from, even though you know you need to. So it's going to be important for you to really listen uh, to your intuition and you to really just roll with it, okay? Also with the Eight of Cups, this could be like crying over spilled milk is what the energy of this card holds, okay? So this is about not being, um, once again, not being a victim as this card represents, but being um, a victor in other words, okay? So not really sitting there feeling sorry for yourself or wondering like, why is everything happening to me? Why is everything going wrong? Instead of sitting here worrying about 
why you're going through this work on changing it and getting into a better position okay so this is also about not stepping into that um victim type um mentality which would which may be a challenge for you within the season okay so make sure you know in order for us to um work through a problem we have to know about it so you know this is something that you know about so make sure that you try to change the trajectory trajectory i'm sorry guys i'm tired okay <laughs> But, um, so next we're going to go over, um, you know, just a theme. So what is a theme for those, um, under the sign of Leo, um, within the, the fall season. All right. So we get the tower, which I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, no. Um, we get death and we get hand fasting. Okay. So the tower does not always have to be bad guys, you know? <laughs> so with, um, uh, with the theme, we get tower. So we're we'll just talk about the tower. The tower is all about the collapse of old structures. Okay, you see that this building is on fire. These people are jumping out. They're falling out. Um, it's like the collapse of a structure, the collapse of a monarchy. Okay, you see the crown. So with the tower card, tower moments are necessary. Okay, so with tower moments, this is like things happening and sometimes they may seem like they're bad but they are all for a divine reason and a purpose and usually for your elevation okay so this is like a theme um that those are in the sign may be going through uh this season so maybe feeling like you're going through a tower moment and you know a tower moment is something like i'll give an example um it may just seem like everything is falling apart okay maybe you start having a problem at your job your boss stops and starts messing with you you lose your job um, you know, you have to move out of your apartment. You have to, you leave a relationship and it just seems like your whole world is falling apart. But later on, you'll understand in that moment that that was pushing you into a new spot that you need to be in. Okay. So maybe you had a meteor, mediocre job. Maybe that relationship you were, you were in was abusive, whether that's mentally or physically. Okay. But it seems like everything is falling apart, but then you look at yourself next year and you're um, at a job that's paying you 20 times more than you were making, or you got a business that's paying you double, triple what you were making. Um, you have a, uh, you meet someone else that uh, you're getting ready to get married. It's just like everything had to fall apart for things to fall together. Okay. And that's kind of what uh, this tower moment and this um, theme is showing you. So whatever in this season, <laughs> that you need to walk away from it seems like it's just gonna collapse anyway so you might as well just let go of the resistance and let things naturally happen okay so then uh we also get the card of death once again with the tower this is the collapse of structures death is major transformation so it's death and it's rebirth okay not literal death but it's a card of death and rebirth okay so a lot of things that are happening where you're going to be in a completely different um position for the future okay um also with the card of death um you know once again this is like force things force endings okay so once again if you know there's something that you need to let go of just let go of the resistance and do it naturally so it can flow a little bit more easier okay but death is also not a card that's necessarily a bad thing and these this can deal with your relationships, okay? So we get the card of hand fasting. Hand fasting is about partnership. It's about union. It's about relationships that bind us, okay? So this could be like a tower moment and um, death of a certain relationship, okay? You know, um, things that are not beneficial for your growth. Also, um, you know, with the hand fasting, with this being a theme, this could be new relationships, okay? It can be um, you know, like I said, the tower is not always a bad thing. It could just be major changes. Okay. So with hand fasting, this could be like a new partnership, you know, something happening that brings a new partnership, whether this is like a marriage or, um, even a business partnership. Okay. But this is the theme for this, um, season is going to be close binding relationships. Okay. So, um, those are going to be some connections that you make within, um, this season of autumn okay um leo and once again don't let these cards scare you because they're not always 
bad okay also with the tower these are things that happen suddenly so this could be a sudden partnership or a sudden relationship that comes into the picture a sudden marriage proposal or things of that nature okay so then i uh pull some advice cards so what are some ed um what's some advice for those under the sign of leo so we get the page of wands justice the queen of cups the six of cups and the stag horn god Okay, the page of wands is the bearer of good news okay so this card represents new opportunities okay news about uh new opportunities news about work um things of that nature okay overall it's a card of movement and things that are happening and these are things that are happening that restore some type of balance or um you know some type of balance in your life okay also with the justice card as far as it as advice is concerned this is about finding balance in your life okay whether this is balance in a relationship or balance as far as balancing um you know your life this could be working being a parent going to school um you know running a business overall this is like a need for you to um kind of balance different aspects even if that's balancing um the spiritual and the physical as well next we get the queen of cups and she is also about balance so this is going to be a season for you to really balance your emotions and your mental okay not letting your emotions cloud your judgment and vice versa also not being so analytical that um you don't pay attention to your emotions so this is really going to be a season of you kind of balancing um balancing yourself emotionally mentally physically spiritually okay making sure not neither one of those lack okay so you know in a physical in a physical sense this could be um you know making sure your surroundings are balanced you know cleansing your house cleansing yourself um going to the gym whatever the case may be for you to find that balance it could also be getting on a schedule also um with that balance this could be going to counseling you know emotionally this could be staying up on your spiritual workings um doing spiritual cleansings overall a need to balance within this season we get the six of cups and these this deals with aspects of the past that come back into the picture so once again we talked about that shadow work so this could be some things coming back from the past possibly things from childhood that you need to address and you don't need to dwell in for too long you know once again like i stated before it's okay to do that shadow work and that self-evaluation and you know work through that trauma but you can't stay there for too long because what you'll do is you'll just get stuck in that state okay so make sure that whatever aspects come from the past we address it we balance and we move on okay also um the six of cups could be things uh, going back to things of the past okay so you know maybe you're running a business and it was successful but now it's kind of fizzling out okay so maybe you're trying to figure out okay what did i do in the past in order to progress so maybe you need to take a step back to the past okay we also get the stag horn god so the stag horn god is about masculine energy okay 